Hello guys, and welcome back to another session of Learning Unity with me. Uh, I think where we last left off, we were trying to integrate a resource system. And yeah, so let's go ahead and do that. So we have, I think we gotta do the star display. And we use these methods here to update the score or resource system. So we need, um, what else do we need? We need defender for sure, because we need to get the resource cost. Defender button, possibly. Actually, I don't think so. But let's just have it there just in case. <laughs> um, actually, let me see, I guess I kind of forgot. Oh, right, we're looking at this. So let's just watch this again, or I kind of watch it a little bit more. But let's just rewatch it for this part. So this is going to talk about parent-child and animation and I guess the relation between them. And like let's say if we change the animation of the parent, we can also change the animation of the child. But if we change the animation of the child, we can't, we can't change the animation of the parent. So it's kind of like inheritance in which the parent affects the child, but the child doesn't affect the parent. Transform is relative to the world. Then transform, and then for the child, it's relative to the parent. So yeah, anything that affects the parent will also affect the child. But if we try to change the child, it won't be affected. He, what he's showing, well, you guys can't see it, but he basically has a two sprites. One is the parent, one is the child of that parent. And basically, he is changing the scale of the parent, and it was also affecting the child. But he was a effect when he was trying to change the scale of the child, the parent's not affected. So he, for in terms of animation, um, in for the parent, as he wrote down, that the animator placed in the parent can animate the renders of the parent in all children, and then for the child, it says animator placed here or the child can only drive animations of child and its children. Um, so animate the renders. I, I wonder what that means. Does that mean like, um, like messing with the, messing with the sprites of the parent and below? 
Let's see. So I think what they, not what I'm, from what I'm seeing now, I kind of understand a little bit what he's trying to show. So he did provide some definition of like the purpose of like the parent and the child. Um, so in our parent animation, like like over here, uh, we could add an animation, right? in which we can also mess with the child's animation but we can't do that with the child we can't add like we can't affect the parent child uh, parent animation through the child but with the parent you can affect the parent's animation and that along with the child's animation So now he's showing us, like if we were to add an animation in the child, 
we can't mess with the parents animation because before when we were looking through the uh, the animation component of the parent we could have added an option to include a an animation for the child when we when he clicked on the child and tried to do the same thing to change the parent that option wasn't there and I feel like the reason why he's mentioning this is because you know in our prefab in our, in our Pikachu prefab we have or there's Pikachu and then there's the body and then there's the thunder cheeks <laughs> I know it's a funny name, and basically the, the body and the thunder cheeks are child of the Pikachu parent. Um, and I guess he, he'll probably go over something like that or related to that topic. The animator. So the next thing he's taught, he mentioned, is that the animator can see methods at the same level. So what that means is that, like, let's say we have a specific component in the child, i.e., like a script. Um, the animator from the parent will be able to see that. But you know, if the animator's in the child and we want to access something from the parent script, well, we can't do that. And As you notice that this the parent here has a re, uh, has a defender script. So like if I were to go to the body and since the animator is right here, I want to access the defender script. I can't do that. I would need to move the animator to here, but then I would need to animate the body to match whatever it is I need to do. So I think what we're going to do is move this to the parent and then we can edit the animation so that we're updating the child but we don't really need to have an animation for the parent so that way we can because in the, if we put the animator in the parent we can access this script while also being able to keep our animations since it's a child of the parent I think that's what he wants us to cover or that's why he's that's why he's covering this which is nice I like it it, it helps make it or demystify I guess the concept so he's showing his body or the co the cactus
he, he mentioned that we need to put the script as well I don't think it's really that necessary because like with the animator we can access the scripts at the parent and below and if the scripts exist below then we can access it so I don't think that's really like enforced I guess and but he does mention to do it so I don't know maybe someone mentions it in the comment or in the Q&A Um, we'll, we'll check out the comments once we try to once we figure out once I figure it out on my own. But yeah, it makes sense to move the the animator to the parent. Uh, the script I don't think it necessarily needs to be with the parent, but I guess it helps like organize things as to like when you're looking at it like oh yeah so it has these scripts as opposed to like like checking each child. I guess that's the only benefit I could see at the moment. Alright, so we do have another challenge here. It's to basically recreate the the prefabs, which is the Pikachu and the lizard, so that we follow that standard, I guess. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's just drop the Pikachu in here, and then drop the lizard. safe. I'm just going to unpack it so that it doesn't, it's not the same. And then we can just update it. Just in case if I screw something up and I, I need to restart over. Alright. Cool. So we're going to start with Pikachu. Or I guess the lizard. That's like the, the idea, right? So then we're going to create an empty. We're going to call this body. And then we're going to add a sprite renderer. Which... Can remove this. Go here. My lizard, I guess, walk. And then and then I guess the rigid body. You can add the rigid body. Cinematic, fine, and then we need. No, I'm not gonna do polygon collider. So the reason why well, I, I forget why, but I think the reason why I didn't want to use the polygon was because mm, I think it might have been the offset, because in the code I think we had an offset and polygon like. It, it didn't have any offset values for some odd reason. Um, I guess that's relative. And then for the capsule, it does. So I just chose anything but polygon. And capsule just seemed nice to have because we only need to worry if it hits the body portion or below. It doesn't like I guess a little bit parts of it below, but mainly like this area if it hits it, you know, it's, that'd be fine. Um, so yeah. I'm gonna have to steal these values though. Capsule collider. What? Oh, because it's 2D, maybe? I don't know. So then we're gonna take these.
We're gonna round it to make it look nicer. And then we're gonna remove this. It did say to. Yeah, so parent only needs to have the scripts and the animator. Now it does, it has the animator and the scripts. So let's go to body, and I'm just gonna round it to 56. And then 23. Make it 23. Make 75, and yeah. That looks good. So then we created the lizard object. Um, yeah, that's fine. Uh, uh, let's see. So let's delete this lizard. Actually, we shouldn't delete the lizard yet. We're going to call this lizard test. Before you work on Pikachu, I just want to see if it works. So we got to go to our game area, I think. Or do we have to go to... Oh no, not the game area. Spawners. We have to go to each one of these, I guess. So lizard test. Well, we just need to check if it appears in the first one over here. Does it seem kind of... Oh, what, what happened here? <laughs> Wait, what? But I put it here. Did I? Does it test? Oh, no, it didn't. This is one is over here, so something messed up. Let me see. Alright, so I think what we need to also do is um, so the lizard test, I think we're supposed to apply this to the child. Says the sprite is missing. Oh, here it is. You guys can't see it, but oh no, I did apply it. So the sprite's still missing, even though I added it. Wait, the sprite disappeared. What? Sorting size render priority. Hmm. Maybe I should have waited. No. Alright. I might need to create a new controller. This, this is a different prefab, so it'll, it'll be fine. So let's go ahead and. Create a new controller. Call this. Well, actually, no. 
No need. You can just delete the lizard jump. Lizard walk. Because yeah, it does follow the lizard as well. So then we go to animations. Lizard jump. Lizard walk. We transition here. Um, exit time, I think we should just do settings. And then we're going to go animation here, add property, body. Yeah, the sprite doesn't. Did he say to recreate the animation? Since animate the characters, I guess so. Alright, that's yeah, fine, I guess. <laughs> yeah, something will happen with these animations, man. That's cool. I probably screwed up somewhere. That's cool. Um, so we gotta get all the lizard jump. Create an animation. We call this. Oh, wait, this is the body. Got it, so it's supposed to pass in the body. That made sense, dang it. <laughs> oh, maybe that was the issue. Lizard walk. Create. Oop, oop, that's not what I meant. Create. Go to animation. Lizard walk. So then when we go to lizards, where's the white feeds? Put that there. Oops, not there. Make it here. Make the transition there. Change the exit time. Go to animation. Seems like I can only add it here, but now it's gone. And it still says it's missing. Oh man, what is happening? So a child has sprite render. Um, no. Uh, it doesn't seem like I can 
I'm understanding what's missing. So it has the animated lizard, and if I click on it, that's why it's giving me this sprite is missing. Or maybe what if we delete this? weird because I don't see anything I add I added a property which is the sprites but it doesn't show up I don't know if that's a, a bug or not uh, let me look at the comments before I do anything so first of all why didn't we animate properly the first go I did because I used my product just to figure out 10 hours of work later this is not the right way I just want to know this what this teaching that I was trying to achieve from a learning standpoint oh dang oh here's I think that's all you guys have there. This frustration. So in the situation where I didn't realize this the series would create a bunch of work based upon that specific teaching point. And when I need to refactor it later, it didn't seem like a problem. I'm going to update the, the earlier videos now with a warning that things will change and to not do Oh yeah, I think he did mention that. Wasting time with himself. But what could go into the habit? You can clean up these. Well, it's like teaching long camp and the pilot's gonna try and clean up a second. Yes, the warning comes much too late. Also, that my redundant animation was work. Work was done during chapters. Okay. It's the teachings and increments. You can't learn everything in one step. It's better to learn why the correct patterns are truly correct. It's copying all correctly. The first time it's taking the subtleties of your discourse. Taught it correctly. If you went down off on your own, it's sorry to hear. Between the courses, you should understand you're going to do that at your own risk. Fair enough. From my perspective, I think the main reason is that using parent child objects when animating is better practice than how we did it previously, which is for simplicity's sake. By doing so, we prevent potential issues occurring between the animations of an object and movement of the same object in world space via code. So another way of looking at, at it would be that we are just moving our lizard sprites renderer to a child object to future proof it better. Also, another benefit of moving all the scripts on Cactus to its parents object is that it becomes easier to find and edit in serialized fields. You know, that's a good point. That's also a good point too. I'm just gonna go with that. <laughs> uh, I wish I had more videos like this. Oh, here it is, here it is, here it is. So someone did have the same issue. Okay, so I'm having a frustrating issue. Rick emphasized in the video here that it would be a good idea to have the animator on the parent allow control over all the children from a single object. This works fine when the sprite render is attached to the parent. However, when I have the animator on the parent and the sprite render on the child called body, my sprite sheet animator animations will break. With a yellow note in the animation tab saying sprite missing. I assume this is because the animator doesn't know how to do no, it has to look deeper for the sprite render object it's expecting. How can I set up the animation so that the animator finds the sprite render on the child? Um, yeah, I did that and it, it didn't show up, which is weird. Um, I added the sprite and it, it, I guess it's Unity. I might need to reset it. I might try that. Open the animations, remove all properties, then create a new property, and make sure it has the sprite render of a child. Not the parent. If in doubt, I would recommend to simply rewatch the video and redo the animation. You're doing something is often faster than looking for problems for hours. If you cannot fix the problem, that's actually pretty good. Redoing something is often faster than looking for problem for hours. Okay, so I solved my issue by simply copying and pasting the frames from the missing sprite property in the parent object to the sprite property of the child. So far, I haven't found a way to implement the desired parent child relationship without this annoying and low tech step when dealing with sprite sheet animation possibly something to propose to unity dev sounds bad you feel like it could be a bug report to unity be a help <laughs> fair enough okay um so because i did add the property and it, it didn't want to work and now i have to do it all over again so i'm gonna reset unity just to see if that helps i'll bring it back all right so it's been reset 
I removed it, right? <sighs> Man. Transition and the settings to exit time one because that's what he does. Um, doesn't have it. Why? Let's try rewatching it because doesn't really help because he never really did the anime say so yeah, it's that position like where does it go I added something and it doesn't show up 
Why does it do that? Oh, I'm supposed to do it here. So we have the sprite, but we also need the the actual um, sprite sheet. Which it now shows. How do we add more properties? Why can't I add any more properties anymore? Oh, when I clicked on this, I was having an issue. When I click on here, let's say, um, now I can't add, like, what, why is that? What is happening? <laughs> yeah, let me let me try doing it again. Because I guess I actually deleted stuff. And I don't know the right way of doing it and I do like if I look like <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, it's because I don't. <laughs> Spelled it wrong, but we can fix it later. Great. Activation. Wizard. Jump. Put that. Animations. And uh, not that one. This one. Rename. Walk. Alright. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Let's go to animator. Delete. Delete. So let's make sure we're in the right one. Have that. Have animations. We're gonna jump first, and then we're gonna walk. Make transition. Change the exit time. Rotate animation. Lock it. Rotate animation. Sprite is missing. Sprite is missing. So now we're going to add the sprite. What? Why is it like that? <laughs> I want to add the sprite. Doesn't add the sprite. <sighs> and then now sprite is gone. Why is it like that? Right, is right here. Let me see. Oh, that is a little frustrating. It doesn't walk. Oh, oh my god. Man. Unless we're supposed to have the sprite in the, in the parent as well. But then it kind of beats the purpose, doesn't it? So parent has all the scripts in animator if I can't f f understand it I'll just see how he does it and that's why I there spent a good amount of time and I stressed over enough to the point that I'm willing to accept it <laughs> um, so yeah we have the sprite here sprite missing all right let's go add sprite then Oh wait, it doesn't have that option. Why? 
because the things already has it because I just added this right oh my god uh, yeah I'm just gonna see his solution I, I don't know I don't want to stress too much about it but when we have a quiz first <laughs> all right let's just go with it all right which of the following can be used to ensure something in our game snaps to the whole numbers we need to round to int if we implement a sprite that's completely see-through we would say that it is what transparent in the following code what is the type of the thing being passed in defender why do we need to use two string? Because our text code can only display information in the type string. And if we want to wish to display is a type int. Yes. Because we need to perform final count. Nope. Because we, we convert our string to an int. Nope. Because our text field doesn't understand what strings are. Changing appearance. So what is wish statement? It's true. Changing appearance game's object to transform will change only the first child's game object transform. Nope. Changing one child game object transform will also change the other children at the same level as if it. Nope. Changing a child game object transform will change the parent. Nope. So it has to be so changing will all only change all of the children. Yeah. Alright. See how he does it. And I kind of rushed it, but I just really want to figure this out before the one hour reaches. <sighs> because it's stressing, it's frustrating. <laughs> So this is what kind of what we did with the Pikachu when we wanted to center it and we made it relative to the parent's location as opposed to the world space. Wait, we need to have the rigid body and the box collider with the parent? 
Oh, my bad. <laughs> Let me just do that real quick. Kinematic. Oh, I wonder why it's like that. to apply yeah can we go apply so that's how you apply alright so we only had the sprite render we have the colliders here and I guess blue refers to being applied to the prefab um, or is it new? Added component. Oh, yeah. Apply to prefab and yeah. Wait, did he also redo the controller? You know, let's let's try it again, but with like without creating a different controller and stuff. Wizard. Even though I kind of did this already, let's just do it again. Create animation. Just jump. first and then walk quick to transition transition have the exit time one Seems like the parent handles the scripts and the rigid body and the collider. frames what So we didn't need to do this. So we had to create 
It's kind of it's kind of weird a little bit. Create an empty animation. Let's say jump. Go to animations. Um, well, actually, hold up. <laughs> Delete these, I guess. And then he said to put this here. Animation. Oh, not not that. So we're gonna create a clip. Go here. Lizard. Jump. And what we're gonna do is we're going to go to body, sprite render, and then click on sprite, which you guys can't see. Okay, okay, what is happening here? It's not showing up. Why is it like that? Oh, now it shows up. Alright. Alright. So then, how do I edit this? I think I'm supposed to click here. Is it jump? How do I add stuff here? Wait, let me see how he did it. Yeah, so why is it like that? So his um, his goes there automatically, but when I tried doing it, it doesn't. And I have, I have like, for example, I'll do it again. Um, click here, tweet, wizard, create, wizard jump, add property, body, sprite render. When I click on the addition of a sprite, right? It doesn't show up. Is it because it's a prefab? I don't know. And how do I edit it? Is it this? Oh, it's right here. I see. So we already added a sprite, but it doesn't show up. Why is it like that? Why is it like that? <laughs> I'm gonna look it up. Unity properties aren't showing up after add. Polygon is not showing up. Inspector. Animation. This is two thousand thirteen though. Yeah, I just don't know what's up what's happening. For him it worked by adding a property. Like if I let's say if I want to add a transform, right? Let's say I want position. It doesn't show it, uh, and I'm confused. Like it shows it when I click on here. Now it has it, but now how can I edit these? I would need to edit them here, but it does, it's not even showing up. Like why is it that? Why is it like that? Um, so that's why I'm getting confused. And I'm kind of getting frustrated because it's not really like I guess a logical issue where you're like, oh, I'll, I'll probably just think of a different problem but more so of a software issue and I just don't understand man this is frustrating oh I think it's already I know it's already one hour so maybe well tomorrow will be a better day or like somehow the software starts working again more properly 
I don't know, but I'm just going to end here, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.